Hey, it's Ken Finnan at Capital Vintage Tutoring, and I don't have to talk so fast today because I'm allowed to do three-minute videos. So today's my Wave 2 Fast Rundown is Wash Sales versus Wash Trades. So a Wash Trade is an actual violation. A Wash Sale just means you can't take a tax loss. If I die right now, at least I got that out of it. A Wash Trade means that you're doing a trade without any what they call beneficial change of ownership, which is like if you have an account at Schwab and you have an account at J.P. Morgan, and you do a trade, say you own Tesla, and then what you do is you have your account at Schwab buy it from your JP Morgan account, and then you have the JP Morgan account buy it back from the Schwab. Both parts don't have to happen, but those are examples. You're actually doing a trade without changing ownership, and that's a violation because it's considered manipulation. Yeah, Tesla, it probably would be not be enforceable because it trades a million shares a day, but if you have something that trades like you know, 3,000 shares a day, and you can trade your own stock five, six, seven thousand 7,000 shares a day to make it look more more profitable, more profitable, more active, more everything, then it's a wash trade and that would be a violation because you're manipulating the market. That's a violation that you can get in a lot of trouble for that. A wash sale is totally different. A wash sale is, well, back up a little bit. If you lose money trading, you are allowed to write that off your income. So if, if you have capital gains and capital losses, if you have capital losses, you can write off all your gains based on your losses. So if you make 20 grand and you lose 20 grand, you pay no taxes. If you make 20 grand and you lose 30 grand, you can you have no taxes on the gains and the capital gains, and you can use three grand of that income against your ordinary income, your salary, royalties, commissions, all the stuff like that. So that's writing off a loss. You can do that every year and you can write off three grand and then carry forward the rest forever until you run out three grand a year. A wash sale is if you sell a stock for a loss and then you buy it back within 30 days. So if you buy back 30 days later, they disallow the loss. What that means is that if I buy stock at 50 and sell it at 40 on December 31st, if I then buy it to get a loss in 2020, if then in January 10th of 2021, I buy the stock back, they say, okay, you lost the money, but you can't use it to write off your taxes. They do a little cost basis adjustment so that you can take it at a later time, but right now you can't. So that if you lost 10 grand trading and then you bought the stock back, you now don't get to write that off. So any money you made capital gains and ordinary income, will not you will not be able to write that off. So a wash trade is an actual violation. You get in trouble, it's manipulation. A wash sale is just where the IRS says, hey, you bought it back within 30 days. You're not going to get in trouble. Just you can't take the loss. And then when you actually finally sell it for the full time, fully sell it, sell it and stay out for 31 days or more, then you can take the loss against your income. Thank you very much.